Hey guys, welcome to another installment of ATH Coaching. Uh, today we're uh, going to be working on overheads, but not only just giving the overhead, but also receiving the overhead. We've got a great player here again to uh, show us through the skill. Uh, name is Shay McAleish, he's uh, approaching 150 games for New Zealand. Hope you enjoy his uh, uh, coaching. Hey guys, uh, Shay here, uh, Black Six player. Uh, today we're just going to be going over how to throw a uh, proper overhead and also how to receive a good overhead. Hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, the, uh, the first point for throwing a successful overhead is all about our ball position. Uh, too many times uh, when, when players are trying to throw an overhead they get really close to the ball, which means that when you're coming through, your arms are too straight, so you don't actually get the power and probably the distance that you really want to get out of your overhead. So you need to have a good distance away from your feet. So you're kind of getting into a into a push position. So if I'm here, okay, I'm in that pushing uh, pushing position here. Ball's right at the front of my toe, okay. And then from there, all I do is just rock my right hand back, try to sit it in the crest of my elbow. So then my stick's on the on the angle that it needs to be. Okay, the other couple of points for uh, throwing a successful overhead are uh, <coughs> if I if I'm leaning back too far, so my shoulder my my right shoulder's dropped too far out. I'm going to get too far under the ball and the ball's going to fall off the back of my stick. So a couple of really good coaching points to see when you're doing it yourself. If the ball's uh, spinning backwards, okay, when you're throwing it, it means that you've either bent too far back or your stick's in a really bad angle. So you want the ball to be able to spin forwards and then you know you've kind of picked the ball up really, really well if you're trying to throw the ball forward. Okay, so what I mean by shoulder angle, so here, is I'm just trying to dip this out a little bit and then as soon as I get into a position where I feel comfortable to throw the overhead, I really try to drive myself forward and bring my right leg through the ball. Okay guys, yeah, just a couple of uh, more points. The, the last point really is, is the, uh, uh, the release of our stick. Okay, so from here, I've rocked back to here and I want my, again, my hand to sit in the crease of my elbow, but as I'm uh, trying to release the ball, I slightly push my left hand forward again and then I bring it back to my elbow again. So there's kind of a pushing pull motion, okay, and that whole time the ball will actually be on the stick. So the ball's on the stick, it kind of looks like this, it's here off the ground, and then as I do that little last flicking motion, the ball's actually gone off the stick, okay. The other thing is, is that we really want to have a good trajectory about our overhead, so like I'm only this high, there's not too many guys that are too tall, so the overhead doesn't have to be that high, especially for an attacking overhead where you're trying to pass it to your teammate. If you're just trying to clear uh, clear position from deep in the corner where you're getting pressed, it can be as high as you like because that's just buying yourself time. Break can't shake the shit, through it all we're still partaking it. Facing it like we haven't lost faith in it. Of course you got stakes in it, it's not a matter but you wasting it. Like black crude and Kuwait in it, cat of nine tails rat racing it. Spend all our days in it, raising it. Cut to the paper. Okay, uh, guys, last, last point. Obviously you can't uh, flick a stationary ball, it's got to be at some point moving. Okay, the hardest one is to actually do an overhead on the front. So pretty much whenever you're moving the ball, just try to redo all those uh, uh, facets that we were talking about. So if I'm moving it here, okay, again, I've got to try and get that ball to my front toe and then just try to replicate everything really, really well. The, the position I find easiest to do is when I move the ball into me. Okay, it kind of adds to that ball rolling up the stick and coming out through this ball. Successfully. You shared too much and not be blind. If I didn't give a shit, I'd probably just run. That's why I'm sending out the signal. One, two, can you hear me? Yes, indeed, we need to plant seeds. That might mean to leave, cause life is like speed. Get it all together, got the eyes and cross the T's. I'm not got the key. No philosophies like Socrates. It hasn't always been a perfect fit, but it ain't a country guy. The party needs to rip up. Don't want no mix up. You could get a lift up. Nobody decapitated others over hiccups. Yo. You're the kind of person that you notice when they're gone. The little hand talks as the clock ticks on. I miss that song that we sung so long ago. You know a little place you can talk your bike there. You're not Ronnie Big, 
Cause you're really not on the run It's like I haven't seen you since the rabbit does once so Welcome back whenever you come When you come, I see a silhouette in the sun Look, I can't stand the distance I'll give up all preconditions Okay guys, uh, just uh, uh, moving on to how to receive the overhead um, The first point is, is uh, just with the, the ruling in hockey is that most of the time defenders are actually going to win the ball whenever it goes up into the air so just as a defending uh, rule try to pick where the striker is and where the zone is likely to be uh, the overheads going into and just run to where that striker is because more often than not the defender is actually going to win that ball okay a couple of don'ts when you're actually receiving the overhead is try to uh, well don't don't let it come too far below your, your your eye line as in cricket when the ball's thrown up above you kind of goes into your blind blind spot and then drops down so again when you're going for the overhead, try not to get up here and then quickly receive it down and below. Okay, because a lot of the time you're not going to get a clean, uh, clean chunk of the ball. So we want to be receiving nice and up high. So then, as I'm viewing the ball, it's coming down and, and connecting. With the so again, with uh, with receiving the overhead with your right hand, you kind of only want to push your index finger out and leave your palm of the hand off. Okay, that gives you a, a, a position where you can get your hands fully out in front of you. Whereas if I hold tight on with my right, uh, my right hand. I'm going to create an angle which I don't want where the ball's going to tip off into. So if I push my left hand all the way out, have my right hand in that position there, okay, then that's a, that's a spot where you can actually have a little bit of give with the ball. So as I'm, as I'm viewing it to come down, I can bring it down, it's slightly in line with my body, my right shoulder, so I'm not trying to receive it too far out here, because again, if I'm looking at it like that, and I go straight down onto my stick, there's kind of a blind spot where I can miss the ball, and you especially don't want to do that as a defender. Okay guys, here's a couple of demos of uh, how to receive a successful overhead. Conditions all will be forgiven and if you Please come on I'm sending out the signal We shed too much and I'll be blind And if I didn't give a shit, it'd probably just run That's why I'm sending out the signal One, two, can you hear me? We shed too much and I'll be blind And if I didn't give a shit, it'd probably just run That's why I'm sending